the road again. It's so great if you start your day with a good breakfast, you slept well, we had some coffee, we did our first little uphill and now it's about 15 or 20 kilometers downhill in this fantastic moonish like landscape. I'm feeling so good right now. found shelter in the shadow of some stone walls. Then another cyclist appeared, Tobias, also seeking an escape from the relentless high altitude sun. After a well-deserved rest, we decided to tackle the coming desolate stretch to the town of Murgab together. It's so different from yesterday, we were very dehydrated. We didn't have too much water, there are no shops here. Yeah, it's totally different than yesterday. We have a downhill to Alicur and then we can stock up again. We will go on to Morgab, the next bigger town, before we head to the plateau. Hey, this is cool, like walnuts. Mm -hmm. For 30. I think they have some open walnuts in the bag. Follow. It was great that we found the shop, but the lack of quality carbohydrates had us a bit worried. Then we found this lady somewhere behind the house baking bread. We asked if we could film and buy some bread from her. After some hand gesturing back and forth, she understood. Incredibly delicious and fresh. The best bread we ate in the whole Pamir.
had a wonderful couple of days when a new friend Tobias, he's uh, bikepacking from Germany. He's going to Kyrgyzstan and then on to Mongolia. And we hope to see him again somewhere in the future. And Tobias, if you see this, thank you so much for your friendship. We wish you all the best. Now in Murgab, I think it's the most remote place we've ever been. Um, it's in the middle of the Pamir Mountains, and it's so desolate over here. It feels like we're kind of in a small city, but still, it's in the middle of nowhere, and everything is very improvised. So I'm going to show you a little bit how it works over here. So as you saw, my lens got foggy. Uh, that's because I wanted to show you the shower. But the shower is um, basically a big bucket, and they put some like steel pens in this bucket, and those warm up. So it warms up the water with solar energy, and then when the water is really warm, you mix it with cold water until it's your favorite temperature, and then you just throw the bucket over you to wash. When the Soviet Union collapsed. Um, this town was cut off from electric, electric energy, they had to use the solar energy. But a few years ago, Germany gave a big amount of money to build new power plants again here. And now they can use electric energy again, but sometimes it's just cut off from the net, so they have to use the solar power as a backup energy. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is the salad. Yes, this is the salad. Yes, salad. Salad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cheese, carrot, 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 cheese, cucumber, cucumber. They are cooking so delicious here in mm. uh, in our guest house. So I had to show you. Mm. Very good. Harasho, <laughs> harasho. <laughs> 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 We stayed an extra couple of days in Murgab to work on our videos. In one of the most isolated communities we have ever been, there are still some travelers around, exploring the desolate beauty of the mountains. There you go. We met people from all over and shared our stories from the road. It was great to talk and hear others going about their adventures. It's the, the region. It's not the Slavonia. It's a nice name. If you would like to support our ongoing adventure videos, feel free to check out our Patreon page at patreon.com/wheels2wonder.